Welcome. Thank you for visiting the Event Home Wireless instructional video page. These videos have been put together to help our clients better understand the equipment that they are renting. Over the years we've had many of the same questions pop up about different items that we rent and instead of putting together something like a frequently asked questions page we felt the visual would be more helpful. These videos are designed to show you the different items, show you how to use them, uh, troubleshoot them in case there are any kind of issues and if you do have any questions you could still give us a call on our toll-free number. I do hope these are helpful to you and thank you again for visiting. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this instructional video. This video is a tutorial on the Hytera Digital PD562 DMR two-way radio. Eventone Wireless rents these on a regular basis. They're a very popular digital radio. They're small, they're light, they have a single stubby antenna in the middle instead of the long whip antennas that some people find annoying. Uh, their coverage is very strong, very clear. Uh, even though they're rated at about 4 watts, they routinely, as far as our bench testing is, has uh, shown, put out a little bit more than 4 watts. So you actually get very strong, very clear coverage with these. And uh, we want to take a few minutes to show you some of the different features how to use them, and uh, if you're interested in, in, in learning more or possibly renting them, or if you have already rented them and you're just learning, we hope this video proves to be helpful. All right, let's start by actually looking at the physical piece, the Hytera PD562, the characteristics it has that you see immediately, obviously, is that it has a screen on it, which we'll go into a little more detail uh, about in a few minutes. Its physical size is about 60 to 70 percent of the older analog radios, the older Motorola's like the um, HT750 and the HT1250. This, these were larger analog radios. This is about 60 percent of the size, certainly 60 percent of the weight. It is easier to handle. It is smaller. It is lighter. One of the things that you'll notice immediately is that it has an antenna in the middle, not on the left or the right and it is not a whip antenna, it is a stubbier, thicker antenna. Hytera believes that that allows for better coverage, better signal penetration, and just overall in an aesthetic sense it's easier to use, the whip antenna doesn't get in the way, and you still get very very strong, very clear uh, coverage and connection. Alright, let's start with some of the basics right at the very top of the radio. To the right, where I'm pointing here, this is the knob to turn it on and off and also to increase the volume or decrease the volume. You'll hear it beep in a minute. There it goes. And you can turn the volume up and down here. This is how you would turn it on and increase and decrease the volume. Over here is the channel selector switch. Two, three, four, one. Now, as you've noticed, it's got a channel announce uh, alert. Every time you change the channel, it goes one, two, three, four. That can be very handy if you are in a uh, busy event, if you're on a site at a, at, a, at a race or a sporting event of some kind, and you don't want to keep looking down at your radio to see what channel you're on. All you have to do is touch the knob and change the channel. It will tell you where you're at. Some people don't like that. We can turn the alerts off. That's not a big deal. Just let us know if you want the alerts on or want the alerts off. You'll notice there's an antenna in the middle. That's a very popular feature for several reasons. First of all, it's a thicker antenna. It's a stubby antenna. It's not as intrusive as, say, a long whip antenna is with some of the older analogs. Those are effective, those antennas, but Hytera decided to design a, an antenna that goes in the middle that's thicker, that draws more power from the ground plane. I'm getting into the weeds here, but it does pull more power from the radio and does allow for a clearer signal, especially in the digital format. You'll also notice that the radio has a screen and the screen uh, allows you to label each channel. These actually came back from an event we just did with uh, an organization called Share Our Strength and they decided to... Oh, I'm going to lower this a little bit here. 
they decided to One. label the channels accordingly. You don't have Two. to do this. You can. Three. We can just give you the Four. radios with you know channel one, channel two, channel three. You don't have to label Two. them. One. If you have a, a large event with many radios going out and many different departments, many different uh, you know different uh, facets of the of the uh, of the event, like operation, staging, catering, security, things like that, and you want them labeled, you can do that. Just let your representative from Eventone know. Now let's get down to using the radios. They are very simple to use. Yes, I understand they're digital. Some people hear digital and think, uh-oh, complicated, difficult. These uh, operate very similarly to the way old analogs operate. On the side, on the left side of the radio, there's a push to talk button right here. I'm getting into, I'm going to keep it basic here. I'm not going to get too complicated. I'm not going to get into all the different uh, buttons and different features you, you, can, you can put into these radios. Most people will never use them. Uh, and it'll it'll make this video ridiculously long. So I'm only going to stay with the basics. This is the push to talk push to talk button here on the side. If you're trying to reach someone on channel one, be, put your radio on channel one. If they're also on channel one, you simply push this button to talk, push to talk, and release to listen. Once again, you just simply push to talk. Release to listen. Now we'll put the other radio on here. It's been programmed to the same channel, channel one. one. So you push to talk. Check. 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 Release to listen. If the other person on the other side wants to talk to you, they just pick up the radio, push to talk. Check. Talk. Check. 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 Release to listen. One of the other features this, that this radio offers is zones. You can not only have 16 channels, but you can have multiple zones. Two, three, four, five, six zones based on your need. And uh, those the, we can program those zones for you. You switch between zones by simply going to this button right here. Push that button in. And the screen changes to a couple of different categories. Contacts, messaging. Yes, you can text with these and uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, call logs, you can get a, a record of everyone you've reached out to, and then zones. Once you highlight zone, you come back to this button, this button here on the left where my thumb is, push it, and it will tell you the two different zone names. They had two zones at this event, the Grand Tasting Zone and the Pier 92 Roof Zone. If you want to go to the Grand Tasting Zone, well, it just went out for a second, let me go back to it here. Simply move the highlight as it is up to Grand Tasting, Hit the button again, and now you're in the grand tasting zone. That's how you go back and forth between the different zones, whether you have two, three, or 20. The Hytera PD-562 offers a communications port, an accessory port, to allow you to plug in a variety of different accessories. Accessories being things like speaker mics, surveillance mics, uh, D-rings, uh, light headsets, these are production type headsets with the boom mic in the front. Um, this is a two prong connector. I happen to have a surveillance mic right here that works with the Hytera PD562. I want to show you how to put it in. It goes in upside down. The thicker prong is on the top as is the thicker hole in the, uh, in the radio. You push it in until, it, until you hear it click. It clicks into place. The Hytera PD-562 accessories have a little screw there. It's like a thumb screw. You just tighten it in, and this way you get it all the way in, and it doesn't come out. Many times with a radio like this, it's not that big. It doesn't have a lot of weight. So as you walk, it will shift a little bit. If you don't have a headset that screws in, it'll just pop out. So they screw it in. This piece, you actually take the accessory, the uh, not the accessory, you take the earbud, and you connect the earbud as such like this, you put that on. This piece goes in your ear, usually you wrap the, the, uh, the clear tube behind your ear and this goes inside the ear canal. And this is the push to talk control. You push it, check, 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 check. release, push to talk, 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 release to listen. That's how you install an accessory into the PD-562. 
Take the radio in your hand, take a look at the bottom. On the bottom of the radio you'll see a little, like almost like a rectangle, it's a little clip release. Take your thumbnail, push it down, and the battery pops out, just like that. Reach over, get the fresh battery, take it, push down the belt clip, insert the battery in thusly, push down till you hear it click, and then one. there you go. You're ready to go with a fresh battery. The average battery charge gives you 10 to 12 hours of a charge. Obviously that's based on how much you use it. If you, you know, are using the battery quite a bit, if you're using the radio quite a bit, if you're on it constantly, it will burn out faster than that. But average usage is 10 to 12 hours. And that's our tutorial for the Hytera PD562 Digital DMR Radio. These are available for rental from Eventone Wireless. If you are interested and you'd like more information, please give us a call at 855-396-5450 or you can find us on the web at www.eventone.com. Thanks again for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and talk with you soon.